Hi. Hi, today is the 6th, and here's what happened the last few days. Thir Friday, um, uh, I went to, was it Thursday or Friday? I went to Savers with the staff, and, um, I, I purchased a, uh, uh, Leap Pad Plus Writing. I think it was Thursday. Uh, because, yeah, I remember... Yeah, I think it was Friday. Yeah, it was Friday. Well, because, yeah. Um, okay, so that day we went out, I went out to dinner with my grandpa. Yeah, it was Thursday. That rings the bell. Um, and then Friday, I can't remember what I did then. Saturday, um, all I remember about Friday is that we had a 4th of July, early 4th of July dinner. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was Friday, I was right, so, yeah, Friday, um, it was Thursday, that was right, that's what I meant, but, yeah, Friday went, uh, had, um, 4th of July dinner, um, and it was awesome, uh, Saturday, Saturday, uh, my new favorite staff, who is a man, brought over his Guitar and we were um, playing. We were like not playing, but we were singing to. Well, I was singing along with him when he was playing the guitar, and he was playing like country songs and stuff like mostly rock songs that I knew and that kind of stuff. And country songs from my roommate. We just had a great time. We had a blast. Sunday went to church in the morning. It was good. Church was f church was fun. Um. Uh, well, actually, no. Wait, I didn't go to church on Sunday. Actually, I ended up skipping church because my throat was bothering me, and I didn't uh, want to have to like sing and stuff with a sore throat. So yeah. <laughs> I ended up not going to church on Sunday, but it ended up being okay because I just hung out at home and, you know, had a good time. I, yeah. And then Monday, went uh, with my, let's see, uh, Monday went with my mom for 4th of July. We went and hung out. Um. We first went to um, our house. Uh, we went to Little Caesars to get pizza. Then we went out for for um, some. Um, we went out for um, to have something to drink. And then um, we went back to Little Caesars to pick up the pizza. Then we ate the pizza at my mom's house. Uh, then we decided to go just to my grandma's house because we were originally to go and see somebody else, some other people, but um, they ended up being a little bit tipsy. So <laughs> I don't want to say the other word. So yeah, we ended up not going there. So we went to my grandma's, hung out, watched the fireworks. I had this little, like, we had these little butterfly, because my sister and I don't like setting off firecrackers because of the heat and that kind of thing. Um, so we had these, like, lights that were like butterflies that we um, were making. We used as fireworks. Uh, we used in place of fireworks. We used the uh, little lights. Um... Uh, so it worked out. Yeah, so... And then, well, I was doing it with the real fireworks. And I was making designs towards the end of the fireworks shows. Um, doing it with the real fireworks towards the end of the fireworks show. Because I didn't know what I was supposed to do with them. Um, okay, so like, we did the fire... The, the butterfly lights. That was Monday. Came to my mom's house to rest because there was a lot of congestion. Um, then went home a few minutes later. Well, before I went home, found out my Sony headphones had broken. So, I got these, uh, they're GE, 
um, headphones. They're by G, like I said, they're GE, um, which that's a brand that I didn't know even made headphones. So, yeah, and they're like DJ type of headphones and that stuff. Yesterday morning I went and I purchased um, some Sony earbuds because the iFrogs, they, the earpieces kept coming out and some of them, sometimes they would stay in my ear, which is not safe for anyone who knows what it's like to have earpieces lodged in your ear. It is not fun. Uh, they weren't lodged in my ear, thank goodness, but let me tell you, uh, they are not the safest. If you're a headbanger and stuff, they are not the safest earbuds to be using. The safest ones that I recommend are the Sony ones with microphone because they work a lot uh, b better for b people like that. So, um, yeah, that's how it ended up working out. Um, found some safer earbuds. They were really expensive. They were $28. Uh, I bought a NanoTab game that was $15. And the pop and batteries were like $8 and $2. So that would be $10. So all together it was like $54. <laughs> and I am not exaggerating. Because I wanted to get the best, the safest quality, the safest earbuds, you know, that were there. I wanted to make sure they were safe, and, you know, did all that kind of stuff. I know they're not durable for somebody who does not know how to take care of their earbuds or whatever. They're not that durable for somebody like that. But... Now that I do take care of my... Because I used to be that way where I didn't take care of my earbuds at all. And um, uh, they broke on me. So the iFrogs, I wouldn't have even dreamed of getting those before. And now I can get whatever kind of earbuds I want to now. Because now that I take care of them, I have a lot more options. So, <laughs> yeah... Uh, if you're getting uh, earbuds for somebody who has autism that does not take care of their um, earbuds, I do not recommend them for though the Sony's for those kinds of folks, but I do recommend them for anybody who's able to take care of them and wrap them up and put them away in the bag like how they're supposed to go in the in a in like a, a little little like like a coin purse or a money bag something like that I would recommend getting for them and you could just put your earphones in there um, so that would work out pretty well except regular headphones you cannot do that you just have to wrap up the cord and make sure they're put away in like your drawer you don't take them to bed with you <laughs> I have a bad habit of doing that with my earbuds and yeah <laughs> the Sony headphones, I had a bad habit with those, with my, the regular headphones, but the GEs, I cannot get away with that with the GEs because of the way they're built, so, and the, the cord likes to come unwrapped uh, a little bit, so yeah, because of the way they're built, so that, that wouldn't work, <laughs> so I just put them in, in the top drawer of my little uh, desk thing, so that's what I recommend doing. Um, with those, I do not recommend those for, uh, you know, like I said, uh, nonverbal autism, you know, they need headphones. The, for no, if, and they need noise isolation. The kind I recommend for noise isolation and that kind of stuff, ironically, is the very kind that I said was unsafe a moment ago, um, iFrog. Um, they are really good for that. So, uh, anyone has an autistic kid and they use like little earbuds that go in, inside your ear like this, I would recommend iFrog um, for your person with autism or skull candy. 
the noise isolation skull candies. Those are the kinds I recommend. Uh, but not the cheapo skull candies because those are the ones that tend to break easier. I recommend you spend a little more money and you get the, I'd say like the $40 or $50, whichever one you can afford, but not the $10 or, or you could get the $10, but you just got to be careful with them. Um, they're not that durable for somebody who, um, obviously who doesn't take care of it very, them very well. But for somebody who doesn't, I do recommend JBC. They have these sports earbuds. I recommend JBC or the more expensive set of skull candies. They are, I found them to be the most effective um, earbuds when it comes to noise isolation, uh, when it comes to um, durability, quality, even though the Skull Candy's got a rubbery cord, the uh, the uh, more expensive ones, it's a one, uh, it's not a, a double, uh, it's not a double design. It's a single design cord. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the single design is where it's round all the way around, and it looks and it looks like it's one piece, even though it's um, even though it's uh, splits into two separate parts when you plug them in, even though it's two separate parts near where you plug them in, whereas the and it's more solid, so. It's kind of like a rope, basically. Um, like a rope cord. <laughs> well, it doesn't feel like a rope, but it looks like it, even though it's rubbery. Um, it's... <laughs> and if you do not know what I'm talking about, just bear with me. It is um, um, a very solid type of cord. So any of your youngsters with autism or whatever that need those kind of earbuds, I would recommend that kind of a cord. Uh, but if for those who are able to take care of, there's the level, there's a level up from that, which is like the cheaper versions that are the double type of cords, the double design, the really, the like the really flat type of cords. So I recommend the round if you have like a non-verbal person or a person that's verbal, but they don't know how to take care of their headphones or earbuds. The round is, like I said, more solid. Um, the but the the cord for the, the uh, that I recommend for people who are able to t do not get the ones that are like a corded phone cord. Those are cheapo and they might break on you pretty easily um, if you don't take good care of them. They're like a house a landline cord. Um, I don't recommend those. But I, but I do recommend that, like I said, the round ones that you normally see on, you know, like your like more expensive type of headphones. Um, but I do not recommend the ones from I, the headphones from iFrog, because they break even when you like when you do put them away the right way. That actually wrecks them, and they can break easily. So, yeah, I do not recommend those. I do recommend, like I said, I do recommend the round for the, your, you know, your typical more expensive cord for your severely autistic and your, or otherwise disabled that isn't able to take care of their, or Down syndrome or whatever that isn't able to take care of their stuff, their um, uh, cords for their earbuds before this video cuts me off. And um, then I recommend the other the um, double cord for your, if your autistic person has proved, or your Down syndrome or whatever person has proved, uh, that they can take care of their um, e earphones, headphones, earbuds, that kind of thing. So, yeah, earbuds, I recommend um, you look at your site. Oh, I am going to mention this in part two here.